Hey Taurus, we're starting with you today. Welcome. This is going to be your monthly reading for the whole month of May, but of course, as always, it could resonate at a different time. It could resonate later on down the line. This could be a heads up to something coming. And like I always say, if you don't know what a reading is, pay even more close attention to it. All right, this anything could come out right till the very last second. Even after I click off, I can come back on camera. Happens all the time. Also, um, this reading's for Taurus, but it's really for anyone who's guided to see it for whatever reason they're here. So even if you're a cross watcher, I could be directly talking to you. You have to know what part you play in the reading if it's your reading. Let's do it. This is your the Stark Tarot. That's the one we're going to be using. We're also going to be using Idol's Tarot, but we're going to start with this really cool Panther Oracle deck that has a ton of cards in it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus? What do we need to know? Taurus reading for anyone who's guided. Taurus reading. Okay. Like I said, this is for the whole month of May or whenever you're guided to see it. We have self-love that came right out. What else do we need to know? I think something else flipped too because I keep seeing something. Daydream. What else do we need to know? self-love and daydream okay uh promise all right i thought something else flipped because i could have sworn i saw the face of another card but i guess i didn't all right we have self-love daydream and promise uh so really this is about you there's self-love involved and you know when you're in this self-love energy you're ready for other kinds of love so um i always say if you don't have self-love do not get into a relationship work on you before you let someone else in and this kind of feels to me like you're getting yourself in this like you know daydreams almost like i'm meditating myself right into this high vibration this is like nine of pentacles energy on my own and i'm getting into this really high vibration and I, this is going to allow me to then manifest in, you know, uh, equal reciprocity in my life in whatever way that means. It doesn't have to be relationship. It could be anything. So when I'm in this vibration, I'm ready for other people who are in high vibration to join me. All right, let's put it that way. Regardless of what this, like for me, this wouldn't be romance, but for someone else, it might be romance. So I hope that makes sense. It could be another area of your life where you are ready for, you know, positive friendships, where you're ready for positive uh, work environments, whatever it is, neighborhood, communities, whatever. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading for Taurus? What's most important for Taurus? This could resonate now or later on down the line. Anything could come out right till the very last second of this reading. What do we need to know? What are the messages? This is for Taurus, Taurus cross watchers, or anyone else who's guided by the title or for whatever reason you're here. Welcome. <clears throat> all right, let's do it. Self-love, daydream. That's way too many. We're going to put them all back. The Nine of Pentacles was there, though. That exactly what I was talking about. But let's see what comes out. I just don't want too many cards. Tell me, please. Okay. We've got two. We've got ten. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. We've got the Ten of Swords reversed. The Tower is your central issue reversed. You've got the Knight of Swords. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. I could swear somebody else had the Knight of Swords in that same spot, but I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Ace of Pentacles reversed here, trying to come in. What else? You're at the end of something, no doubt about it. End of something. You have the Tower in the reverse, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, trying to come in. You have the Emperor in reverse as well. Six of Cups. All right, let's check out the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. I'm going to move everything over. These are really big cards. These uh, star tarot. All right. We've got the eight. No, I'm sorry. The three of Pentacles. It's reversed. 
we've got the queen of pentacles and the three of swords and the king of pentacles oh my goodness so you have king and queen of pentacles surrounding threes and here's the eight of pentacles that's what i called this one so this could be something to do with work because of the fact that I saw this as the Eight of Pentacles. And look, Seven of Pentacles is behind that. I feel like this could have something to do with... Some, it's something you've been working on. Whether it's work, whether it's a business, doesn't matter. It's something you've been working on. But we've got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles surrounding all these threes. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. As we move into the reading, you do have the Emperor in reverse too. So we're going to look at that. I almost feel like... You and the King of Pentacles are going through something. It could be work-related. It could be business-related. It could just be something that the two of you have decided to work on. Um, there's the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Uh, like I said, Emperor is here in reverse. But we also have the Six of Cups, which is a really nice card in this deck. The Knight of Swords. The Tower and the Ten of Swords both reversed. If we're going to have them, that's the way we want to see them in the reverse. Your Tower is your central issue. So it's it's what we're talking about. So there's an end of something here. I feel something came to some kind of a close or is coming to some kind of a close. And your Ace of Pentacles is getting ready to come in. For me, any Ace in reverse in our reading means it hasn't gotten here yet. All right, let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. What are the messages? Self-love, daydream, and promise. What do we need to know? All right, first of all, I want to see who the Empress is. Uh, the Emperor is. Who is this emperor reverse? And for some of you, this could be an empress because I just said it. Uh, tell me about who this emperor reversed is, please. Queen of Pentacles reversed and the seven of swords. So this is somebody who was doing something shady with money. And to uh, reiterate that, emperor reversed again, right at the bottom. For some of you, this is a feminine. For some of you, this is a masculine, which is exactly what I was thinking. This has to do with someone who was doing something sneaky and shady. It looks to me like it was around business. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. It's reversed, and it's what I thought this one was, and then we ended up having it right there. So the truth is, something's going on around the Pentacles, whether it's work or business or not. There's something around this emperor slash queen of pentacles person who's doing something with money or fine i really feel the queen of pentacles reverse for me is lack of abundance a lot of times it's more of an energy of a drained resources when you see it with the eight of pentacles like this uh and you see it around this emperor who's coming out seven of swords as well we have the seven of swords with the queen queen uh i'm sorry yes queen of pentacles reverse and emperor reverse it could be two people but there's something going on here around something to do with i feel finances money stability something something about the seven of swords here someone trying to get away with something but um it involves pentacles all right let's keep going all right, what do we need to know? Spirit and angels for Taurus for Ten of Swords reversed, Tower reversed. Tell me about Ten of Swords reversed, Tower reversed. Yeah, there. look at that. So the lovers flips over. All right, so this could be a relationship. Whoa, there's something behind it I didn't see. The magician, I didn't even know there was another card attached, and the Four of Cups. So this really feels like... Um, something ended in some kind of partnership the lovers for me could be really any kind of partnership but there's also a some kind of a decision to be made here or there's someone trying to um well i feel like the new opportunity spirits got it like as you're saying goodbye to what didn't work out i feel spirits got you with a new beginning but you don't see it yet because i also see it here it hasn't come in yet so it's uh that cup is actually this ace of pentacles let's look at it tell me about this ace of pentacles here reversed what do we need to know what are the messages 
Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Cups. Another three. You've had the Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, now the Three of Cups. Um, so is this a like it's an outside person or someone like it like when I see like a third choice another option is what I'm feeling the wheel is about to turn it hasn't turned yet it's in reverse let me take a look at that ace of pentacles one more time ace of pentacles what is this it's a, like it's it feels like another option like see this person's focused on the three cups or the the disappointment but there's another option coming in behind them I feel like this is another option Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles was at the bottom and second ago. You have a new option coming in. It's going to be balanced and it's going to be a partnership. Two of Cups. I'm, there it is. The promise. Two of Cups right there. You're going to have another partner come in or there's going to be one somebody here who is balanced. But they're not the person who you were dealing with that gave you the Ten of Swords in the Tower. Eight of Cups. You get this gift, that Ace of Pentacles, that new cup, that new partnership comes in when you leave behind what didn't serve you, the disappointments. When you leave these cups that you've been so focused on, when you leave them behind, you're going to get a new opportunity. It's going to come into you. Tell me about this um, Knight of Swords. What about the Knight of Swords? What about it? Now, listen, I'm not telling anybody to quit a job without securing another one. Okay, so that's that. If this is job related, make sure that you secure something before you leave something or you might, might not be able to pay your bills. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. Four of Wands. All right. So Four of Wands. So this is, uh, there's something, I feel like it's going to happen fast. See how the Knight of Wands is moving at the speed of lightning uh, in another direction. And there it is. I'm, and this even could be a move. It could be a transfer of um, places you work. It could be a move to another um, business. It could be a home move. It could, it's some kind of move. move it's movement no matter what it's movement some kind of movement and it might happen really fast like once you it's like when you turn the wheel it's going to happen all at once tell me about the six of cups what about the six of cups these six of cups in this deck is really a healing card tell me about six of cups Look at that. Look at all this. You got the Six of Cups reversed, and it's so funny. While I was looking at the Six of Cups, I was thinking this Six of Cups feels reversed to me, and there it is. The Six of Cups in the reverse. You're leaving something behind, going on a completely new journey. You're taking your wand. See how this person's looking like, where in the world am I going? And then they grab their Ace of Wands, and they begin to, they're, they're about to take the action. When you grab an ace of wands and you figure it out where in the world you want to go, you're going to take that action in a different direction. I don't want to feel like I constantly have to defend myself and I don't want to always feel left out in the cold five of pentacles. Whatever happened here between you and this person, they were not treating you fairly. That's for sure. There's something here about they were not treating you fairly. I feel like it had to do with pentacles. Seven of pentacles again reversed. So you've had the seven of pentacles reversed. Where did it go? There. Twice. You've had the eight of pentacles and three of pentacles and the six of pentacles came out to say this new commitment, this new promise. I mean, this could be as simple as agreeing to work for somebody. Uh, it's going to be balanced, but it, there's something here about whatever this person or people were doing that was so shady, you're not going to see that in the next, wherever it is you're moving to, whatever it is you're moving to, whether it be relationship, whether it be job related, financial related, whatever it is, there's going to be a different kind of an energy coming in for you. You're going to leave something in the past and you're going to head into a new, it's a totally new direction. Um, for some of you, this does feel work related, but you're doing it because you self-love. 
you're well aware that you're not being treated correctly. And, you know, you've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about the peace, right? This person's really daydreaming about this peaceful place right there. And this new commitment will be the place where you're going to find this peace. This could be a relationship for some of you. Uh, for those of you that this is relationship, because uh, I see both here clearly, it's going to be important to you to manifest in the new by severing a tie with the old. I mean, it's a complete, I'm done. It's tower reversed. It's 10 of swords reversed. It's eight of cups. I'm done. And it opens the door for the new opportunity. But whatever this is, you've seen or you're seeing or somebody's doing something shady. No doubt about it. It's emperor reversed twice. Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Swords. This is somebody doing something shady. Somebody who is not giving you equal reciprocity or not treating you fairly in something. Anyway, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. At least let me know you got your message. That's the thing I care the most about. Please don't forget to like this video. You can earn your spot in a bonus reading. If this reading wasn't yours, the bonus reading could be. So even if this wasn't your reading, please hit that like because you can um, win a bonus reading. I give the bonus readings to whoever is bringing in the most likes and views. And how do you bring in the most views? By hitting the like button. It's that simple. Also, drop in a comment helps too. YouTube looks at these things in order to recommend my video to others and get us more views. So we're a team working together. So I appreciate Okay, guys, you know, this is why I say don't click off till um, it, the video is over and I'm squeezing this in. But as soon as I clicked off to clean up, uh, I got the message that this actually could be about your partner, too. So this could be someone you're already with. Everything I said to you could be about your partner. So your partner could be having problems with a boss. Your partner could be the one being uh, mistreated at work. Your partner, you know, you see what I'm saying? So all of this could be about that. Also, uh, the eclipse readings are good for a whole year. So if you haven't seen your eclipse reading, I'm going to include it at the end on the end screen. It should be popping up right about now somewhere here. Also, your weekly readings and your daily readings are out there. I'll include your weekly reading here as well. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.